of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Lash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, as you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches. In mines and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mama me, <laughs> since I'm a been in America, I'm a think that this is the coldest winter I'm ever saw. All over the country, people are sitting in the house are trying to keep warm. And you know how they do this? Electric heat, electric lamps, electric blankets, electric radiators. Mamma mia, if America is ever blow out the fuse, the whole of countries are going to freeze us to death. <laughs> it's a different from the other country, huh, Mamma mia? When we got a cold night in a Castellamare, all the family sit around the fire with a plenty of good red wine on a table. Twenty minutes by the fire. If you're still a cold, twenty minutes with the wine and you don't care how you feel. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> remember, remember, Mamma Mia, that a cold night, uh, Uncle Pietro is suddenly say, My poor God, he must be frozen. So he's a go out in a barn, he's a fast to push a hot water bottle under a goat while he was asleep. Mamma Mia. That was the night we found out the goat could have swear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm thinking so much about a cold is because of my landlord, and is supposed to be my friend and a countryman, a Pasquale. He's a no give a steam. So I'm a sitting here like a frozen mackerel on ice. <laughs> For days I'm a bang, a bang on a steam of pipes, but there's no answer. Well, I'm a gonna try again. All right, all right, Arena. Stop for a racket. Yeah, but Pasquale, where is the heat? In Africa. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? A new hobby? Banging the pipes? And uh, you don't give it the heat, so I'm letting you know. Don't you think it's cold enough? Luigi, I don't go by myself. I use the scientific methods. I got a thermometer in my store, and it just says 100 degrees. 100 degrees? So where do you keep it, is it, thermometer? Right to where I can always see it, on top of the stove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale, over there, the red line is never going to drop it down. Luigi, is not enough for the red line that runs it down. I don't give steam until that thermometer turns blue. <laughs> Luigi, you turning a green. That's it don't look so good. Your banana nose is no look ripe. <laughs> well, Pasquale, the way you talk, I'm going to tell him to do something wrong. Come on, tell me, what's the matter? Don't look so innocent, Luigi. Somebody owes me two months of rent and it ain't Xavier Kugatz. <laughs> oh, so that's it. You mean you're not going to give me heat until I'm going to pay up the two months of rent? That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, but Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to freeze it to death. That's a free country, Luigi. You can die any way you want to. <laughs> Pasquale, don't talk like that. I talk any way I want, you little puppy squeak. I've been pretty fair with you so far. Yeah, but Pasquale, Let me I'm going finish. Gonna... I brought you to America. I set you up in this crazy antique shop. I've been lending you money right and the left like I was the Morris of plan and you was a Morris. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm always to pay you back. That's eh? not enough. I didn't bring you here from Italy just so I could go in the money lend of the business. All I know is you a terrible businessman. You always owe money. And there's a one thing about you I can't stand especially. Oh, what's that? Uh, what's the use to tell you? This thing, what you are, you are. You're never going to change. Well, what? What? Come on, tell me, and I'm going to change you right now. You promise? Sure, I'm a promise. All right, to change you from a bachelor to a son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm a understand. 
Is it not for a two months' rent that you keep away the steam? Is it because I don't want to marry you fat to daughter Russia? Don't call her fat. <laughs> She's just a little round. <laughs> Pasquale, if she was any rounder, she would roll, not to walk. <laughs> hey, Luigi, listen. Listen, I'm going to give you your choice, Luigi. I'm going to give you your choice. you got to yeah, marry but... Rosa or you're going to be cold all the winter. That's your choice. Yeah, but what Rosa is... or Frosa? <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep her warm and make up your mind to marry Rosa? No, Pasquale, I'm not going to marry her. Please, Luigi, just this one winter. No. <laughs> No, no, no. When a man he wants to keep it warm, he buys a little stove and not the whole gas company. <laughs> All right, Luigi. From now on, everything is a strictly business. You ain't getting a drop of heat because you owe me two months of rent. No, no, Pasquale. Don't do this. You know I'm going to catch a call as a quick. Luigi, I ain't talking no more. You're a disaster victim. From now on, any appeals that you make go direct to the Red Cross. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Pasquale, how you can be so mean? Luigi, it ain't easy. <laughs> well, toodaloo. I'll come back in the spring and it'll defrost you. <laughs> All right, class, let's come to order, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a hit. Why, Mr. Basco, that cough sounds bad. Do you have a cold? <coughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's all right. <coughs> it's just a little tickler. Sounds like more than a tickle to me, Luigi. You should find out more about that cough. Uh, most coughs should be taken care of immediately with the new drugs that are on the market, They're such as oreomycin, chloreomycin, and streptomycin. <laughs> And they will take away the tickle. <laughs> you can get quicker results with a long feather. <laughs> Ach, my Luigi, you're going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe Pasquale is, is going to change his mind and give me back the steamer tonight. What's the matter, Luigi? Pasquale ran out of coal last night. No, no. <coughs> no, Horowitzy. He said if I'm, I'm going to pay him a two months' rent, he's going to let me freeze it. Oi, vey. Your bear yimini in it, and Lord, that doesn't give steam in January is just a big yak, yes. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, this whole thing's very peculiar. Do you think Mr. Pasquale's holding back just because of the rent money? Well, uh, also because of a rush. Aha. Now you let the cat out of the bag. Stop. There ain't a bag big enough to hold that cat. <laughs> Pasquale has done some bad things, but this one takes the cake. Uh, have you tried reasoning with him, Luigi? Yeah, <coughs> but it's but, but, no use. <laughs> Luigi, I know you would hate to do it, but why don't you call up the Board of Health and complain of, against Pasquale? I think there's a law you no, should no, go... No, 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 please. If I'm having trouble with my countrymen, I'm the one to use outsiders. I'm using my own way. Your own way? What is that? Well, my mom, she's a teacher, me. Always, if somebody is to do something wrong, you turn to the other chick. Oh, what a terrible prize fighter she would make. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, right now the thing you should do is take care of that cold before it gets bad. Sure. And tell Mr. Pasquale you'll do your best to get the rent as fast as possible. I think he'll go along with you. Yo, ho, I, I agree with that. Yeah, but I'm afraid of one thing. What's that? Supposing he's to say to me, no steam forever unless you marry us. Then you answer him with logic, Louis. Logic? Yeah, you say to him, Pasquale, when I go to the Turkish bath, nobody makes me marry the Turk. <laughs> Oh, Pasquale, it's, it's very cold in here. <laughs> Pasquale, it's very cold in here. Yeah. Yes, you little cabbage puss. You look like, you look like somebody's putting you in a deep freeze. <coughs> yeah, you did it. Oh, so you got a cough already. Ah, it's too bad. You shouldn't smoke so much. No, but Pasquale, you, you know this this cough don't come from smoking. No, then why is the smoke coming out of your nose, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a cold in a story. Oh, so that's a why. And a why is a cold in a store? Because it's in a steamer. Pasquale, come on. Be nice, huh? Put on a steamer. Luigi, I told you before, I refuse to talk about a steamer in your place, and I ain't talking about it all the winter. 
Ain't uh, talking about it at all? Not at all, and not there, no, and uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Pasquale, you do me big favor if you get out of my store. Huh? Oh, sure. Sure, you want all the cold air to yourself. Uh, all right, it's selfish. <laughs> yeah, and uh, wait, and uh, please, uh, don't uh, come back. That's uh, going to be a bigger pleasure. And don't uh, bother to talk with me, Pasquale, because I'm uh, never going to talk with you again. Never, huh? <laughs> never, Pasquale. I'm a swear this by everything I'm a, I'm a hold dear. Oh, you swear by everything you hold dear, eh? You don't, you don't believe in me, huh, Pasquale? All right. I'm a tell you. I'm a swear by... By... I'm a swear by... By my mama that I'm a never going to talk to you again. Well, look who's getting serious. That's right. You swear by your mama, eh? Yeah. And only if my mama Mia was to come and beg me. To talk again with you, then would I talk with oh, you. Oh, stop, stop. You're breaking my heart. As <laughs> far as I'm concerned, and not to hear you stupid voices, is going to be a vacation for me. <laughs> a vacation, are you here? Well, say something, stupid, stupid. <laughs> All right, you greenhorn boo, but don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you don't say nothing, don't. Don't expect I should answer you. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, we'd like to mention that delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum is not only good, but also good for you. When you're feeling tense or you're working at a hard, fast pace, it's really a comfort to chew on a good, smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. The easy, pleasant chewing helps relieve that feeling of pent-up tension and gives you satisfaction. Then, too, the lively, long-lasting flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint helps keep your mouth moist and fresh. So, you see, that little stick of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is not only enjoyable but also helpful to you. Try it and see for yourself. Keep a package of refreshing, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum handy and enjoy chewing a stick from time to time every day. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, it's a past holiday since Pasquale has stopped giving him a statement and since I'm stopped talking to him. But is it not so bad now, Mamma Mia? In the daytime... I'm going to keep a woman in a store by wearing two pairs of woolen stockings on the top of my regular socks. I would be even a woman if, if I could have squeezed my shoes on the top of the stockings. <laughs> then in the nighttime, I'm going to turn on all the lights and the gas range, and I'm going to boil four big pots of water. Only trouble is the steam goes up to the ceiling, and the only one who's to keep warm is the flies. <laughs> Well, I don't know how long is it going to be before Pasquale is a gimme steam, but I know one thing. I'm never going to talk to him again. Oh, oh he's coming in and out. Hello, Luigi. Ready to talk to me about your heat and the problem? That's the matter. That's the matter, Luigi. Cat that got your tongue? Oh, what a stubborn mule. Hey, listen, mister, don't talk. I'll give you steam for just the one month's rent. All right, I'll give you steam if you take out my rosa. I can't stand this, Luigi. Just talk to me and I'll give you steam. Hey, Luigi, stop polishing that Lincoln statue. Talk to me. <laughs> I never was a president, but I can grow a beard. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Ooh, some people in the name of Luigi make me so mad. Well, I go in the basement, and when I come back, it's liable to be a surprise. <laughs> then we see if you talk. Luigi, my fellow pooper, you look a little taller tonight. <laughs> that there must be three pairs of stockings I'm wearing this shirt, see? <laughs> well, what happened? Did you ask Pasquale to give you more steam? Ah, yes, sir, but uh, he was a uh, bad to me. Then I'm a promise. I'm never going to talk to him again unless my mom is asking me to. 
Well, he was here a minute ago, and I think he's, uh, he's up at the something issues. Oh, that rotten Pasquale. For what he's doing to you, I could make meatballs from him. Oh, yes? Uh, well, go ahead, Mr. Delicatessen, the man, and make me the balls from a maid. <laughs> Why should I? It ain't sanitary. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi. See, Schultz, how can I give a steamer to a fella who don't talk to me? Don't talk, Pasquale. His lips are so blue, he can't talk. <laughs> All right, then we see what's going to happen now. What do you mean, what's going to happen? Just the way. What, what, what's that coming up? Don't tell me that. That's the right. It's a steam, a steam. You hear me? Steam. Simile sounds like he's Columbus discovering America. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luigi, you going to talk to me now? What do you say, my son? You see, Schultz, he just stands there. Nothing. But give him a chance. What do you mean to give him a chance? Come back in a few days, then he'll talk to you. First, he's got to thaw out. (laughs) Schultz, it's been four days already. Schultz, please tell him to talk to me. Luigi... Pasquale says you should please talk to him. Schultz, tell him no. Pasquale, he says no. Schultz, tell him. Just a second, just a second now. How long is this going to go on? Every time I pass by, Luigi grabs me in here. If Luigi ain't going to talk to you, he ain't, Pasquale. But Schultz, ask Luigi, ain't I giving him enough steam? Luigi, ain't Pasquale giving you enough steam? Schultz, tell him too much. Pasquale Luigi says too much. All right, I heard him, I heard him. And tell him if he don't start talking, I'm going to give him so much esteem, his thermometers are going to fade. <laughs> Luigi, did you hear that? Tell him I'm no care. Pasquale Luigi says, drop that. <laughs> Schultz, wait until he says it. <laughs> Ooh, how can I make this mummy talk? Wait, I know how Luigi's going to talk to me. Schultz, tell him never. He says never. All right, all right. Let's see if you can translate this. Schultz, tell him no many vacca finiche mi pal. Huh? No many vacca finiche mi pal. Go on, go on, tell him. Luigi said that uh, no, we should. <laughs> him was such a language, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Pinwheel. No, Schultz, it's all right. You tell him. Non me morte si pale o no. Pasquale, he says, and here I go again, <laughs> you shouldn't please import... <laughs> him, I feel like the United Nations without an interpreter. <laughs> please, Luigi. Talk to me. All right. See if you can turn me down now. Ti don't go quando steam a boy when he came Emilio. Emilio, do you not? Uh, here I am, Luigi. Hey, you have been waiting here all this time? Ma sure. You think the block is going to let you put a something over on a Luigi? <laughs> what do you want, Luigi? Tell him he's got to turn off the heat. I'm a can't to stand it. Pasquale, Luigi dice che deve stappare la steamer. Stamorena di Galba. Then tell him. Oh, what's the use? Luigi, please talk to me. You're breaking my heart. Melio, tell him it's no use. Ah, it's no use, Pasquale. Get up off your knees. Luigi, talk to me. I give you all the heat you want. Tell him it's too hot. It's too hot. All right, talk to me. I give you a fan. <laughs> I buy you icebox. I bring you popsicles every five minutes. <laughs> please, Luigi, please. All right. I know when I'm a lick. Goodbye. Hello, is the Luigi Basco's antique shop? Hello, Mr. Basco. Uh, answer the singing again, the program huh? calling to you. Uh, huh? If you tell me the name of the song I'm singing, you get a La, 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 la. <laughs> All right, I'll give you ten seconds. Fifty thousand dollars, you tell me the name of the song. Well, I'll give you 
another five seconds. <laughs> and I added 25,000 to make it a total of 100,000. <laughs> I also throw in a three old antiques. You went to 10,000. Hey, you funny fella. You know out of the money, eh? Oh, Luigi, talk it to me. <laughs> You're talking to me. Don't even tell me the name of the song. I give you five dollars out of my own pocket, huh? <laughs> Luigi, I'm feeling terrible. <laughs> Frankly, Mr. Pasquale, on casual examination, I don't see anything. What seems to be the trouble? After the last few days, I got a terrible pain in the right the shoulder. I can hardly move it. Recitus? No, I had them taken out 11 years ago. <laughs> I tell you, it's like I got a migrate and a headache in my arm. Well, here, here, try, uh, try raising it. All right. Mm, that's bad. Doctor, if I can't lift my arm to ring up a sale at the cash register, I ain't a bad. I'm a paralyzed. <laughs> Let me feel that arm again. Uh, ooh, ooh. Mm, there doesn't appear to be any edema in the clavicular region. Uh, doctor, use the smaller words and the charge will be less of money. <laughs> you quite a preoccupation with money, haven't you? If you mean that my occupation to make money, you're right. I think that's my trouble. I wanted too much money. If I'm an hound to Luigi for the rent, he wouldn't have stopped talking to me. But you ain't interested in that. On the contrary. Go on. Who's this uh, Luigi? Doc, that's my best friend. Sure, I get him in all kinds of trouble, little melon head. <laughs> but it's only because I love him. I see. How was your arm before he stopped talking oh, to you? Oh, fine, fine, doctor. If he's got a fresh one of me, I could have hit him on the head in a second. And you've never had trouble with that arm before? Doctor, all of my life, I could have lifted a horse. Better than that, I could have lifted my daughter. <laughs> your daughter? What's that got to do with it? Wait, I'll show you. Rosa! 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 Yes, my little rye crisp. <laughs> you see what I mean, the doctor? I see exactly what you mean. Mr. Pasquale, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. I'll be by again in a few weeks. But this, I pay you? How am I going to get a well? I think if you'll patch up your argument with your friend Luigi, you won't need me. What? Doctor, I'm going to need you all the time then. Why? Because the Luigi's are never going to talk to me. Luigi, you got to talk to Papa. First his arm hurt, then he got headaches. And today he told me not to bring him any more meatballs with spaghetti because he's seeing too many spots of his eyes. <laughs> well, Rosa, I'm a feel sorry for you, Papa. I'm, I'm a feel sorry for myself, too. But but what I'm started, I'm, I'm not going to finish. Never? Never, never, unless... Uh, unless... No, well, there's no use to talk about it. That, that it can't happen. Goodbye, Rosa. Goodbye, Luigi. Why, why was it... Why was it such a fool to swear? What am I do? What am I do now? How am I going to fix I, I should have... A... What, what the kind of thundering is that? Hello? Yeah? Yes, sir, this is Luigi Basca's antique shop. Sure, this is Luigi Basca myself. Huh? What? I'm sure to hold on? All right. Who? Italy. Italy calling... Mom, Mamma mia. Yeah, yeah, that's me, that's... That's you. That's you, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. You sure, Mamma Mia. I'm here, you clear like a bell. Is it, is it like we was a boat in the same telephone boats? <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, if, if you only know... If you only know how I was miss you just at this moment. How you feeling? Yeah, how you feeling, Mamma Mia? Oh, that's good. Yeah, now... 
حسن تو مگه نیست؟ ها ها حسن کلی پیاده رو های چی گوده؟ ها ها های شد گاته آه دگاتی شو گت مهریت آه های چی نیست مامو می هت هت شو گوده؟ ها این سگار فهم می آره زی هو هاد تمیز فلایه هیا مامو می های چی گوی؟ But the mamma mia, what? Who are you calling? Mamma mia, something is, something is wrong. Somebody is sick. They are? Yeah. But it's not to you, huh, mamma mia. Huh? Who? Well, somebody I'm, I'm know very well. Well, who? Come on, tell me it's a... Who? Oh. Oh, Pasquale. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Yeah, sure, Pasquale, he's sick. Yeah, but... How you know that, Mamma Mia? Huh? Oh, he did. What? What? You... You want... I'm... I'm a should... You want... I'm a should... Uh, uh, yeah, sure, Mamma Mia. Yeah, sure, sure, Mamma Mia. Sure. Oh, sure, I'm... I'm, I'm be very happy to do that, Mamma Mia. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Right now, I'm going to do it. Yes. But take care of yourself, huh? Sure, Mama. Me. Take a good care. Give a mighty God to everybody. Huh, Mama? Me. Yeah, sure. Ma- Margarita. And, 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 and Uncle Pietro. And, and he, he's the goat. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and the, the goat's the family, huh? <laughs> Here. Oh, sorry. Oh, Pascal, hey, Luigi, Pascali. you talk here. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Pascal. Oh, Luigi. Yeah, sure, sure, I'm talking. <laughs> and uh, come on, come over here. I'm going to wanna kiss you. Luigi. Oh, 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 I'm here, Luigi. Kiss me, too. <laughs> you stay out of this. <laughs> Pascal, I'm... Um, Pascal, I'm... Um, I'm sorry... I'm a dead uh, what I'm a dead, but uh, I'm a dead what I'm a dead, but uh, but, 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 but what I'm a dead, I'm never ah, going to do it unless I'm a dead. Stop, stop, Luigi. No like a Schultz is to say, you're getting all of a shimmer. <laughs> yeah, all of a shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, I get that. Oh, hey, look, at my arm is no hurt no more. I ain't got no more of that burn in the side. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. That's a good Hello? What? Those phone calls to Italy is cost me eighty-eight dollars. Eighty-eight, eighty-eight dollars. That's what it's a cost, Luigi. Mamma mia, you ain't gonna get the mad on me again, huh? And you little pumpkin head. <laughs> no, of course not. Okay, operator, just send the bill. We argue it out later. <laughs> here, Luigi, here, take this a newspaper. Uh, sure, uh, yeah, but a newspaper, what the for? Go ahead, read. All right, but. But they do what? Anything. I just paid $88 there. You talk to me again. I want to get my money. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you to include delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum on your shopping list this week. Wrigley's Spearmint is an ideal treat to bring home to your family, It's healthful, it's inexpensive, and it's a taste treat that everyone enjoys and appreciates. Pass Wrigley's Spearmint Gum around after meals. Give some to the children when they come home from school, and enjoy it yourself whenever you want something good to chew on that isn't rich or heavy. Next time you go to the store, remember to get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.